Hi friends, the topic of our discussion is bonds in DNA molecule. DNA is a genetic material in all organisms except few viruses. Each DNA molecule is a double helical structure made up of monomers called nucleotides. This is a double helical structure of DNA molecule. Let's have a look into the chemical nature of this DNA molecule. Each DNA molecule consists of nucleotides. Nucleotides are the building blocks of a DNA molecule. Each nucleotide consists of a sugar molecule, a phosphate, and an nitrogenous base. And these constitute a nucleotide. These are joined together to form a DNA molecule. There are two bonds in a DNA molecule. First is a bond that connects the adjacent nucleotides, which is a phosphodiester bond. And the second is a bond that connects the two strands, which is a hydrogen bond. And we'll be discussing in detail both these bonds. First of all, let's start with phosphodiester bond. So this is the first nucleotide. It consists of a sugar, a nitrogenous base, and a phosphate group. And this is the second nucleotide that consists of sugar, phosphate, and nitrogenous base. We are looking into how this phosphodiester bond is formed between these nucleotides. Adjacent nucleotides are linked by phosphate group. CO bond is called as ester bond, and this is the phosphate group that connects the two nucleotides. Two ester bonds connects the adjacent nucleotides through phosphate. Here, this is the first ester bond that is between the nucleotide, this first nucleotide at the phi dash end. And also, this is a second ester bond that is that is from the three dash end of the second nucleotide, and this that's why this is called as diester two ester bonds, and that is connected through phosphate. That's why this bond is called as phosphodiester bond, and this bond is very strong and withstand high temperatures. Now, moving to the second bond that is present in the DNA molecule, that is a hydrogen bond between nitrogenous bases. Four nitrogenous bases that connects the DNA strands. These are the nitrogenous bases thiamine, adenine, cytosine and guanine. Adenine and guanine are purines and are two ringed. This is a two ring structure. This is adenine and this is a guanine. And cytosine and thiamine are called as pyrimidines and is single ringed. This is thiamine and this is cytosine. A purine will always form bonds with a pyrimidine. Adenine will always pair with thiamine and cytosine will pair with guanine. Adenine thiamine bond is by means of two hydrogen bonds, whereas cytosine and guanine is bonded by three hydrogen bonds. These are weak bonds. Actually, the stability of the DNA molecule is the additive effect of this hydrogen bond, and this breaks upon heating, the process called as denaturation, and this actually allows DNA strands to separate during DNA replication. And this can be remembered easily at and GC, ATGC, and pyrimidine. To remember pyramid in nitrogenous spaces, it is very easy. That is letter Y in the name of nitrogenous spaces that, that is thiamine and cytosine Y and that is pyrimidine. Hope things are clear. You are with biologyexamsory.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please share and like.